Welcome Leos. This is the Empress. I'm so happy to have you guys here with me today. All right, so let's hop right into it. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that bell to subscribe. And these are going to be general reads, so they won't resonate with every single Leo. Um, if they do happen to resonate, make sure to leave a thumbs up, okay? Let me know what's going on in the comment section. And don't forget to share with your friends and your family, okay? So, for Leos, I'm picking up on the number five. Um... I'm being led to shuffle for you guys five times. Some of you guys may have been seeing the number five, five, five. All right. So maybe there's something, some things that are changing um, in your life or getting ready to change or you're making some adjustments. Um, but I'm getting to shuffle five times for you guys. All right. So one. going to be for sun moon and rising venus uh leos okay y'all don't mind my nail because that just had to pop it off and whatever all right so what messages are there for leos two three four five All right, Leos, at the bottom of the deck here, I have the chariot card. All right, so some of you guys could be moving forward. There could be some forward movement for you guys, okay? Some of you guys may be going on a trip or planning some type of trip, um, or some of you guys could be dealing with a cancer, all right? I feel like some truth has come. Oh, yeah, some truth has come to the light. Okay, we got the moon card. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Pisces. But we got this Ace of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But something has came to the light. You've been waiting for something to come out. Okay, you're tired of, you got tired of waiting. You got tired of waiting for something, for the truth to come out. Okay. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Taurus, but I have the Hierophant card here, okay? So maybe there is a commitment that you want from somebody um, or vice versa. Somebody wants a commitment from you. I'm picking up on water energy here. We got the King of Cups as well as the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups being the challenge. So there could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio involved, okay? Someone could possibly even be married here with this Hierophant card. And with this King of Cups here, this is letting me know like there's like husband type energy or wifely type energy. Okay, I feel like you're trying to overcome some obstacles, okay? So you're trying to defend yourself or you're standing your ground or you feel like you're fighting a fight alone, okay? I feel like... There was a need to work out some issues in the past. You decided that you were going to work out some issues because we have the five of swords, which is conflict or feeling defeated. Okay, maybe you feel like you um, were defeated in a situation. You had to back down. But I feel like now you're ready to stand up. Like you're feeling confident and you're ready to stand your ground now. Okay. Someone here is very emotional. I feel like there's a lot of options in front of you or someone else, okay? Someone has a lot of options in front of them or there's like confusion. It's like emotional um, confusion. Like 
Someone here is very emotional. Um, I'm picking up that it may be Leo's because, you know, I'm going to be honest. I have a Leo daughter. And you guys are kind of dramatic. I'm not even... <laughs> I'm just being honest. Y'all are dramatic. But I do see someone re having regrets or crying over spilled milk going into the near future. There's a, about a decision, a love decision. Somebody is regretting a decision here. You may be looking at the situation as this is a new start, a fresh new start here with this Ace of Wands. Um, but I still feel like you aren't, you're carrying the Queen of Swords energy. So, I mean, you are keeping um, your guards up. You are not being as um, open or gullible, okay? You want this new beginning, but I feel like you're guarded at the same time. How others view you. We have the Sun card, which is the card of Leo and the Six of Swords. So someone is like happy that you've moved on or um, expecting for you to move on out of a situation to calmer waters. I feel like you're waiting to have a conversation or you're waiting for someone to respond on something. Um, you're waiting for some, some type of response from someone. And someone or you is going to start to open up and talk. Okay, so. Yeah, you're waiting for someone to fight or. Um, you're waiting for someone. You're waiting for someone to stand up to you. You decided in the past that you um, were going to overcome your issues with someone. Because we have the two of cups here. So somebody decided that they were going to work on a partnership. Somebody emotions is all over the place, okay? But I'm getting right. I'm getting some of you guys could be dealing with the Aries, but I'm getting that some there's like regrets because someone here is trying to be too controlling. Someone is coming off as controlling. Yeah. You want this new start, you want this new beginning. You got the strength card, which is the Leo card. Someone is waiting for you to make some type of move. We got the devil card here. There could be a Capricorn involved, but you're waiting for someone to respond or waiting to see how they're going to respond. And I feel like there is a cutoff in communication. Like, I feel like there's a leap of faith that is going to be taken or like um, somebody's going to open up communication. But I feel like it's not the communication that you're looking for or you're feeling stabbed in the back. Okay. Why is the hierophant here? Maybe someone came crying to you or you to someone else because I'm getting like emotion. Emotions are all over the place. Why is the hierophant here? All right, someone here is stuck in a commitment. Oh, someone is going through a divorce or a separation. Okay, we got the Four of Wands and the Four of Swords. And we got the Queen of Cups here. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Four of Cups. Someone is disappointed. Someone is not happy at all. Yeah, someone is heartbroken about the past. There was some type of, oh, a, a big argument, okay? A big argument that came out of the blue in the past, and somebody was left hurt. Um, and somebody, and you guys are feeling like you won with the Six of Wands and the Chariot card. So it's like you're riding off in the sunset. And you, and whoever this... Queen of Cups is, is left feeling disappointed. Why is the Four of Cups here? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. The same story. Okay. There could have been third-party energy here. 
someone tried to rush in um and it's like all of a sudden an argument broke out of some type of some type of um disagreement and this is coming from past energy okay someone's love heartbroken but someone is getting like feeling like they won okay feeling like they came out on top why is the ten of swords here oh ten of cups okay so something is in something is going to end whether it be a relationship a marriage something is going to end someone takes a risk maybe reaching out to someone and it's going to cause an ending here we got the ten of swords which is about an ending okay and the ten of cups all right two tens all right so that's definitely saying that's the completion here okay and that's possibly why i've been getting the number five for you guys because five 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 is saying that there's some type of change that is coming in okay there could be something that is about to change okay so i want to see how do they feel about leo how does leo partner feel about leo what's going on leos i'm picking up on somebody someone's married or separated or divorced and there's drama and third party situations and winning a battle and what is going on y'all let me know what's going on all right so we're gonna see how they feel how does Leo's partner feel about Leo? How does Leo's partner feel about Leo? All right, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Pentacles. So it looks like they're putting in some effort, but at the same time, I feel like like they're watching, like a lot of people are watching. There's like confusion. It's like trying to block out some confusion. Oh, wow. Okay, so there is, whoa. Okay, there's like a breakup or, or sadness, sad news um, after some type of disagreement and, or confusion. So they're like putting their guard up and they're like, you know, I, I put in the effort. I'm trying. Um, we got the death card. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Scorpio. They could be feeling like you don't have any patience. Um, wow. They're feeling like something is imbalanced or fair. Um, I'm getting like, for some reason, Leo's, I'm picking up like they feel like you're not doing enough. Um, so be careful because this person could come off really, really cold, okay? Um, there's some shocking, something that happened all of a sudden with you guys in the past because I'm getting a tower card. And the Queen of Wands, which is you guys' energy. So there's like this tower moment, something that comes out of the blue all of a sudden in the past. Okay, someone can't make up their mind whether they want to be in this relationship or if they want to be single. We got the Two of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. The Two of Cups is being together and the Nine of Cups is being separate, okay, being single. And they're guarding their emotions, okay? They got, like, they're, we got the seven of wands where they're standing their ground and being defensive. The ten of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio's energy. I keep picking up on um, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We got the um, king of swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Queen of wands, Leo. And I'm picking up on Scorpio as well, too. Right, then... This could be a karmic situation. We have justice and the lovers, okay? So this could be like a karmic um, a karmic situation, okay? Some of you guys are dealing with a, Le a Libra. 
but they're looking at you like you you're they're looking at you like this is a, like a a karmic tie okay like they want they're wanting justice in this situation you're looking at them we got the ace of pentacles and the king of pentacles so you're looking at them like they're the bomb Okay, you're looking at them like they may be flashy. You're looking at them like they they just all of that. Like you, like you. I'm getting like you're very, very, very intrigued by this person. I mean, they're waiting for some type of change or waiting for things to roll around in their favor, but they're they're waiting for some risk to be taken. Okay, be careful. Um with this person, Leo, because I got the Seven of Swords here with the Ten of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. So this person could kind of be kind of sneaky or they're trying to make you feel as if you aren't investing enough or you aren't doing enough. OK, and it's like someone is like popping up. I'm getting like all of a sudden some something rushes in with this tower and this chariot card. So it's like maybe someone pops up <laughs> Like someone pops up, maybe they feel like you are like impulsive. Maybe you'll pop up where they at or, you know, pop in on them and see what they're doing. Yeah, see, we got the eight of cups. Them feeling as if they want to walk away because they're not sure if they want to be in a committed relationship or if they want to be single. Okay. Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. This situation is a burden and it needs to be balanced out. Okay, because we got the Ten of Wands. So they could be feeling like this situation needs some type of balance. Okay. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Gemini with this Lover's card. But this Ten of Wands is saying that something is like a huge burden on them. Okay. We got the Moon card here. Pisces energy. But maybe this person, um, you were trying to keep this person a secret. I feel like the circumstances, they're, they're, um, they're waiting for things to go in their favor because right now I feel like maybe they could be going through a financial hardship or they're feeling left out in a situation or feeling left out in a cold or rejected. So they're waiting for things to turn around for them. But I feel like they're waiting for some risk to be taken. And then we got the six of cups here. So it's like a return, some type of return. The intuition is telling them to wait to take some type of risk because the intuition is telling them that they're going to go back to something. They're looking back at their past, okay? So this person is very calculated, okay? We got the Two of Wands and the Seven of Swords. The Two of Wands is saying that they're sitting back plotting they're making plans. The seven of swords is like, you know, that's sneaky energy. So it's like they are plotting, okay? They're plotting possibly on your finances. Be careful because I am picking up over here that they're waiting for something to turn around in their favor because they could be actually feeling left out in the cold or having some issues um, with their finances. Um, and I'm telling you, this I really feel like this person is calculated. Like they're waiting to take this risk because their intuition is telling them that I'm gonna, they're looking back at their past. Why is the high priestess here? They may be very secretive. This person, I keep picking up on the queen of cups, knight of pentacles. We got the star card here. Some of you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius. We got the Emperor here, Aries energy. But I'm like, I feel like they hope that some of you guys are dealing with the Capricorn. We got Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But it's like hoping that there's like someone is ignoring messages that someone is sending them or someone gets blocked 
But it's like their intuition is telling them that why is the Knight of Cups here? Oh, wow. They're looking back at their past. Be careful. Two of Wands. Be careful with this person. Look, we got the Four of Wands. They keep going back and forth to someone. Okay? This could be someone that they that they live with. That they could have been married to with this Four of Wands. Four of Wands is home life, stability, a marriage. Okay? So, and this is someone who's a player. We got the Knight of Wands and the Empress. Someone is playing. Someone is playing games here. They're hoping to get somebody's attention. Someone is playing games here. Someone, I'm just picking up someone is playing a big game here. And it's like they don't want to cut you off um, because in some way, shape, or form, I feel like you're beneficial in some way, shape, or form to them. Let's let's get some messages from the love oracle. Ooh. See, they may may be coming to you telling you that they want to commit, that they want to take things to the next level with you. But look, can you trust them? Can you trust them? Okay. Can you trust this person? We got trust. And we got worth waiting for that popped out as well. So I'm going to pull a few clarifiers. And look, spirit is wanting you to love yourself first. Okay. It's more attractive. Um, your self-respect, okay, is more romantically attractive when you put in yourself first, okay? I feel like you guys have a lot of um, passion, passionate moments. You guys are having a lot of intimate moments. But I'm just picking up on the sense of it's time to take back control of your life. Maybe this person, it comes off as very controlling, okay? When you, come, when you get around this person, it's like they dominate you. I feel like you're looking at this chemistry and you're thinking like, you know, this could be the one, but there's some things that you need to pay attention to. There's some red flags that you need to pay attention to, okay? There's a lot of playful energy. This person could be very childlike, okay? They flirt a lot. Um, and is it safe for you to let your guard down, okay? Do you trust this person? This person may want to give this relationship a chance. And they've been expressing themselves or you've been expressing yourself to them. But I feel like you deserve better than um, what they're giving you at this moment. Please give me clarifiers for Leo. Please give me clarifiers for Leo. Please give me clarifiers for Leo. We got the Queen of Swords and the Six of Pentacles, the Moon. Someone is feeling regret. We look, we got the King of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. The truth, there's a shocking truth, okay? There's something that came out of the blue and the truth was revealed. Um, it could be about a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Feeling someone is going to be feeling regretful. All right, and someone is going to be giving someone a cold shoulder. Yeah, this person may have been coming to you expressing themselves, right? Telling you that they want this commitment. They want to work things out. Um, but we got the hermit card here, okay? This is someone being distant. This is someone being distant, okay? And thinking things through, okay? Give this... Give this, I'm, I'm picking up on, give this some time. I feel like, yeah, someone was expressing themselves. There was a conversation that was had between you two. We had the page of pentacles. Someone's like talking, like maybe talking about themselves a lot. I 
I'm I'm just getting like work on you is what I'm getting. There's something. Look, there's some, okay. Someone is juggling two people here. We got the Two of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is coming out too frequently. There could be um, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio woman involved, male or woman, but someone is juggling two people. Okay. Yeah, like someone is like always talking about themselves. Um, it's never really a we thing. Um, I'm just getting to work on you. Look, there's this disagreement. There's this battle, this ongoing battle. And it's like not being able to make a decision. Someone is spying. Oh, I'm getting like gossiping, spying, very childlike behavior, immature behavior here. Don't let your guard down. You got to keep your guard up with this person. Because I don't think that you truly know this person. This person may have a really dark side that you aren't even aware of. But you have to make the best decision for you and what makes you happy um, is what I'm picking up on. Divine timing and everything is on working in your favor. But I feel like you need to work on you and you need to focus on you and make the best decision for you at this point in time. But I'm not picking up on um, don't trust this person. You need to check their motives and see exactly what it is that they want from you. Or you need to have that conversation to see exactly what it is that they want from you, okay? All right, Leos, that is going to be the message that I have for you today, guys. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in with me. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you want to book your very own personal reading, that information is in the drop box below. And until next, guy, next time, guys, see you later.